I am a, I'm, I'm performing in Atlanta in March. And I, so, I, <laughs> thank you. Are y'all from Atlanta? Is that, is, okay, y'all have no idea. Okay, but you just left, and I love it. <laughs> no, so, because I'm going to Atlanta, I know a lot of people in Atlanta, so uh, Portia, I texted her, and I, like, Tamar Braxton is coming, and, and uh, a whole bunch of other people are coming, and I texted Portia, and I said, would you and Simon like to be my guests at my comedy show? And she said, absolutely. Then we got the news of, you know, she's divorcing, her husband, Simon Guabadia. And um, so she's splitting with him and they've been married for 15 months. So she now, she went back to her maiden name of Portia Williams. And I'm very upset at this because I finally learned how to say Portia Guabadia. Like, <laughs> like say that three times fast. You know how long it took me? It took me 15 months to say <laughs> Portia Guabadia, Portia Guabadia, Portia Guabadia. Now I got to go back to Portia Williams. Um, so I, but I really want to call and go, do you need those tickets? Because I like to, you know, I need my tickets back. <laughs> you want to you give Simon's ticket away? I want to get, well, no, I don't, because I'm not, I don't know what happened. I, they was happy. Well, I do know what happened, you know, they found out that he is, like, uh, not, not legal in this country, and they found out that it was, like, if it's funny stuff with the money. And so, I, one of the reasons why Portia might be splitting with him is because she also has property. And when you're married and stuff like that happens and the government wants their money back, they go after everybody. They absolutely believe in that, you know, united as one. And Portia's like, you're not taking my wig money. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Sherry, we, we must say that all of the claims against Simon are, are alleged. alleged. Yes. All we gotta say, they're alleged. That's right. But I, what I know is not alleged is she got those pampered sheets by Portia and yes. she wants to keep it, she wants to keep her sheets, you know, her, her, the, and you were saying something about a timeshare? Yeah, and then they found out, oh, they found out that, you know, some, like, apparently he owed, like, a, a, almost $500,000 on this private jet. It's like a timeshare, timeshare plane. I didn't even know they had timeshare planes. I didn't know that. Look, I, you know, because I fly on the ones where the doors fly off. Those kind of, <laughs> that's the kind of planes I fly on. So it's like, she, he had time, I, I was watching all of these pictures. They're flying to Costa Rica, and I'm going, so the place they used to be in Costa Rica, was that like a timeshare too? Like, was y'all in a timeshare marriage? And shoot, and Portia said, your time is up. I mean, <laughs> what is going on? You know, because I'm a person, I, I, I am just like shy, shy away from marriage. But I love people who apparently seem to be in love. I still, there's always a little glimmer of hope that goes, oh, well, maybe it can happen. So I was very, very vested in Simon and Portia's marriage. And they were going all around the world. And she got to have 92 marriages with all those outfits. And she was in Africa. I guess she's like, I ain't going back to Africa. They can take you. They ain't taking me. I'm <laughs> right here in Atlanta. But um, so I hope that everything works out for Portia. Portia and uh, Simon, and I hope she gets to keep her sheets because I just ordered some, so I want them to come. I just ordered some sheets. I, I'm all for marriage working out. I really am. I like to live vicariously through people. Um, but oh, oh, this was a good one. I just read that the cast of A Different World is getting back together. There, like that makes me happy. So th this is the best. They are taking a 10-city reunion tour of HBCUs, of which, yes, they are. So for those who don't know what an HBCU is, it's a historically black college and university. And A Different World premiered 37 years ago. It followed the lives of students at the fictional Hillman College. And almost the entire cast will be on tour. Kadeem Hardison, that was my crush. Oh my gosh. Lift them glasses up. Daryl Bell, Dawn Lewis, uh, Cree Summer, Charnell Brown, Glenn Turman. I, you, the tour, it kicks off tomorrow in Atlanta at Clark Morehouse and Spelman. So they're gonna be on tour. That's like... Because in Jasmine Guy, remember Jasmine Guy was here. Yeah. And she said that people, you know, they went and enrolled at an HBCU because of a different world. I was one of those people. And I enrolled in Norfolk State because of a different world. You went world. to Norfolk State. Yeah.
My niece went to Norfolk State, and I made her watch the whole, like, two seasons. Like, I made her binge yeah. on a different world to know exactly this is why so many people enrolled in the HBCU. So I'm very excited because it's, we still know all of the, the you know, the um, episodes like they were yesterday. So when Jasmine Guy came, something in my heart jumped. I, so I'm going to be one. We're going to have to sneak on campus. We got to get one to of one them. of them, yeah. Yeah, we got to get to one of them. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time.